Hey, what's up, YouTube? Back with your boy, Luke. Hey, guys, I'm coming to you live from the truck right now, and the reason why I am is because the last couple days, I've gotten two emails and one text message from subscribers, and they want to know about the Tijuana police, the Mexican police. Have I had any dealings with them? And they wanted to know about all the rumors that they've heard and the things that they've read. Is it true that they'll take money from you? Is it true that they'll rip you off? Yada, yada, yada. Also, I really hope you'll watch this video in its entirety because it's going to help you guys out. I feel really strongly about this one. That's why I stopped the truck and I'm going to make it real quick. Okay, so yes, I've had several dealings with the Mexican police in the 10 years that I lived in Mexico. And yes, they have taken money from me. Now, that being said, folks, I've been pulled over drinking. I don't condone that. You shouldn't do that. I was in my younger days. But yeah, I've been pulled over drunk in Tijuana. I've had accidents that were my fault in Tijuana. I've um, done all kinds of things, from tinted windows to stop signs to shooting, accidentally shot a bottle rocket at a cop in Puerto Penasco. <laughs> um, so, I mean, things happen down there. And this is what I can tell you. Absolutely every single time I've been pulled over, with the exception of one, I was in the wrong. And I want you to know something. You hear things like people say, oh, well, you know, we had a couple drinks in Tijuana and we were driving down Revolution and the cops pulled us over and they took a hundred bucks from me. Okay. They sure did. Let me ask you something, folks, wherever you live, San Diego, New York, Los Angeles, what if you got pulled over drinking there? What would the penalty be? It'd be a huge fine. It'd be probation. It'd be classes. It'd be your auto insurance going up. Yet, Tijuana always gets the bad rap just because they hit you in the wallet for a couple hundred bucks. Now, if they hit you for more than a couple hundred bucks, if they hit you for a thousand or two thousand, why in the world did you have two thousand dollars cash on you anyway in Mexico? Guys, carry your ATM cards. Don't carry more than a couple hundred bucks, okay? It's that simple. I've seen cops down there actually try to take people to the ATM machine. You know, and I don't condone that, but I'll tell you how to deal with those cops a little bit later. But yes, I have had dealings with cops and yes, I have seen the cops pull people over, whether it's for speeding, tinted windows or whatever it is. But this is what you got to realize. You got to realize that nine out of 10 times you were in the wrong. Okay. Maybe you made an illegal U-turn, whatever you did. And the 20, 30, 40 bucks that they took from you is dramatically less okay, way less than the penalty would have been in the United States. I just paid a ticket that I got in Las Vegas today, $198 for being five miles an hour over the speed limit, okay? So, granted, I was in a school zone in a big rig, but it still doesn't matter. Okay, also, now let me give you some pointers. If you do get pulled over by these cops, do not speak Spanish to them, okay? That's perfect. If you're a white guy or it's obvious that you're an American, don't speak Spanish. If they're trying to lift money off of you or, or blow something out of proportion, hey, make them explain it. Chances are they're not going to be able to and you're going to get a buenos tardes, tomate cinco dólares. Yeah, you're going to give them five bucks and get a good afternoon and be on your way. Also, don't disrespect them. Don't try to fight them. But yet, do not be afraid when they threaten you with a judge. And do not be afraid when they threaten to tow your car. Nobody's towing your car. Nobody wants to go see a judge. Okay? It's not going to happen. That's all smoke and mirrors. So, I'm going to go over a little bit more how to deal with them. But for now, don't speak Spanish. Be apologetic. Be respectful. Hey, man, I'm sorry. I don't speak Spanish. That's what you tell them. And don't handle money for a bribe in public either. That's very disrespectful. I'll let you know how to deal with those guys a little bit later because they don't want anybody finding out, okay? They don't want it to be on YouTube that they took a bribe. You see what I'm saying? So don't speak Spanish and don't carry a bunch of money on you. Other than that, please remember when you hear someone say, you know, the Mexican cops did this and the Mexican cops did that, what's the other side of that story, okay? And what would have been the consequences if the people would have been in the United States breaking the same law? Just like the border guards, people cross the border and they're like, oh my God, the Mexicans have machine guns. Well, yeah, you know, U.S. Customs, those guys have guns too. You don't ever see it that way though, do you? All right, guys, hey, take it easy, be cool, be safe, 
Let me know if you got any questions. Like and subscribe my channel. I appreciate everything you guys do. I really try to get back to each and every one of you every time you have a question. I hope you like this video. I felt like it was important. I just shot it one time on a cell phone. You guys take it easy. Have a